Hello everyone, we will continue our strategy lesson series. In this video, we are going to focus on the strategy about pinning our opponent. You know folks, using our bishops to pin our opponent is very important in chess that we should include in our strategy. So in today's video, I want you to focus on the pins, how white successfully and with dynamics that makes the position so strong where black has nothing to do but to resign. So let's jump right into it. This game starts with the e4, e5, knight f3, d6, a Philidor defense, and now d4. After bishop to g4, many players 1700 below are doing this because the correct move here is just simply knight to f6. But they play bishop here to g4, and now white captures the pawn, and now bishop captures the knight. Queen takes f3 and then pawn takes. And here bishop to c4 to attack the pawn and checkmate. And here black develops knight to f6. Although queen to f6 is also needs to be considered. If black is playing queen to f6, then we can play queen to b3. Attacking the undefended b7 pawn. And at the same time putting pressure on the weak f7 pawn. Now for example, if they play here b6. And now that's the time that we can proceed and develop our knight in c3, planning to place our knight here in d5 and attack all of these potential targets. But if, for example, they will play c6 to defend and avoid the knight from coming there in d5, then we can still continue our attack by playing knight here to d5. Why is this? Why we sacrifice our knight? There is a pawn guarding the d5 square. But that is intentional, my friend, because if pawn captures the d5 knight, then we have bishop check. After knight to c6, for example, then we have bishop to g5, sacrificing the bishop. If queen captures that bishop, then bishop takes knight, forking the two pieces, and soon this work would be captured. Now, what if the queen will just go here in g6? We can simply capture the pawn in d5, putting pressure on this. And that is the power of the pin that you need to include in your strategy. So, the black's position is collapsing in this kind of uh, lines. So, we will uh, return to its initial position. Here, after bishop to c4, knight to f6 is what the player moves. So the continuation is queen to b3, attacking the weak b7 pawn, and also the weak f7 pawn, and now the black is in trouble. So black must find a way to defend this kind of attack, and now queen to e7, no matter this pawn will be captured, as long as this weak f7 will be defended. And now the continuation is knight to c3, developing more pieces over the board, even that pawn is... A free pawn but white prefers to develop the knight and now c6 to defend the pawn in b7 and at the same time guarding the d5 and also the b5 square for the knight to jump there so what the black is doing is fine but we will see how white will attack using the pin strategy and now so we will continue bishop to g5 this is the first thing happen in the game and now this starts the pin strategy my friend knight could not jump anywhere because his queen will be exposed there is a bishop pinning his queen and now it's unbelievable black mistakenly moved the pawn to b5 although normal players will just say oh that's fine he made a good and right decision playing the b5 pawn maybe 1500 players will just retreat but white have seen something where he can absolutely punish his opponent he made a sacrifice because he saw a pin strategy coming along that is knight takes b5 captured the pawn the opponent will just say is he blundered why did the knight capture the pawn where that pawn is defended by the c6 knight what if i take that knight and now look at this very strong capture bishop capture with check my friend now in this position it's hard for the king to come here in d8 that is because there is queenside castle with check and it is very, very dangerous for the black's king because if king go here in c8, there is rook here to d3 to put the rook in c3 in needed and there is another rook to intensify the file control and now even if the queen will exchange the queens there is just rook to c3 check and after that king to b7 to hide the king there is queen takes capture the weak f7 and now queen will go here in e7 to defend but here queen will just come back in c4 and i'm very sure that the position of the black species is very dangerous and soon it will be mated because his pieces cannot be developed he can't go here because 
it lacks defender and if he go here then there is a checkmate in c7 checkmate so he needs to accurately defend himself maybe to play queen to c5 to exchange pieces because in a strategy you need to exchange pieces if you are under attack and of course the one who is attacking will not exchange peace like in this example we will not exchange our queens but instead we will retreat queen to b3 if he go queen here to b4 to still exchange the queens now we can go queen to a6 if he captures that bishop then queen to c8 check king to b6 and here bishop to e3 check after that king to a5 we have queen to d8 check of course he will try to escape as much as he can and now queen to c8 check king to a5 check king to c7 check king here to a6 and now another rook comes into play rook to d1 very sure that the position is very clear that the position is winning for the white pieces even if knight captures that pawn there is a4 now the position is very winning if queen captures that pawn then queen to c8 check and after that king to a5 rook to d5 check is coming knight to c5 to black and now rook takes c5 is very strong bishop takes and here rook takes c5 after king here to b4 then there is bishop to d2 check and that is checkmate my friend so if we take back to the position where black seems to defend himself but unfortunately my friend he is in a very strong pressure because of the bishop here in b5 what he will do here is knight here to d7 and after that there is queen side castle to put pressure on the knight which this knight cannot jump because the bishop is pinning the king that is the idea where pin is very strong in the game that you should use especially if you are 1700 elo below and now the continuation for this after for example rook here to d8 to defend the knight but still there is rook takes rook takes and another rook comes out into play there is a simplification happening like this one rook captures the knight because he knows that he can take it back by simplifying the position rook to d1 of course this rook cannot escape because the king is in a pin and now black proceeds to e6 to exchange queens because if there is no more queens on the board black is thinking that the position might survive but because of the strong pin the bishop will just capture the rook forking the king and the queen now let's take it back what if after that capture rook takes rook to d1 and king here to d8 what will happen of course bishop takes d7 is a very strong move he can't capture the bishop using his knight because the queen is being pinned by the white's bishop that's how strong the pin if you include that in your strategy and now here after rook to d1 the player in the black spaces proceed to play queen to e6 to unpin his queen but still there is no hope because bishop will capture the rook and after knight captures the bishop then there is a mate in two did you find the mate in two in the position if you find the correct move queen to b8 sacrifice queen a brilliant move you have made in that position because after knight captures the queen rook to d8 checkmating the black king. i hope that you learned something from this video and i hope that you also include in your game the pin strategy which is very useful in improving your game and lastly my tip is if you are under attack you are being pinned what you need to do is to unpin immediately don't waste time to play unnecessary moves because once the position becomes complicated you can no longer recover your position and i'm very sure that you will be put in pressure and soon you will lose the game i hope that you like my video if you like it please don't forget to subscribe in order for you to be notified for my upcoming video uploads Thank you so much. I am Jones Chess, your personal coach and your chess partner. Goodbye.